issuing you how to set up and use KDP Spy for Amazon KDP research the right way. Let's go. What is up guys, my name is Orin and welcome back to my channel. If you're excited about this video, be sure to give this a big thumbs up right now. If you want to learn more about online businesses and all things entrepreneurship, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So this is the BookBolt website and I am signed into my BookBolt account. If you're new to KDP and if you don't know what BookBolt is, this is one of those websites that really help with your KDP business. BookBolt has a lot of options for making journal covers and also they have a lot of ready interiors for your book. So it has a lot of other things inside and KDP Spy is also one of them. It is absolutely worth the money and if you have not signed up with book gold yet i'll have a link in my description you can sign up with that so once you click on your name in the drop down all these options will come up and once you click kdp spy that will bring you to this page and this is basically the chrome extension page and all you simply do is click add to chrome so when you do that it will just become a part of your chrome extension so if you click on this puzzle like thing that's your chrome extension logo you can see all these extensions that i have and once you add to chrome the kdp spy will also be listed on there so now we are adding this and then add extension and it takes a while and then it's saying your kdp spy has been added to your chrome now what happens is that sometimes this goes away from here and all you have to do is just come down find kdp spy and just click and make it blue and it will just appear this book like thing over here this is your kdp spy extension so to use your kdp spy all you have to do is click on it and then this page will appear and then you log in here you will be signing in with your book bold email and password and once you've signed in you're already signed in and then we will straight head to amazon's page so now here we are on amazon.com and uh, here you can be logged in into your amazon account or not that really doesn't matter but here we will come and change our address so what you basically do is you click on the location which is for me it's showing dubai united arab emirates and so we will make this into a US location. So what I always do is I make it into a New York location. So all you have to do is just uh, put 10001 and then continue. And so now this has been changed into New York location. This is an important step for your research and make sure to change this into a US address if you are not in US. You don't want to be researching in smaller marketplaces because that is not going to give us any profit. So there are so many options that you can do in KDP. There are journals, there are um, activity books, log books, there are planners. So for example, we want to make kids activity book. So now there are lots of different kinds of kids activity book, but we'll go and do a broad search. So this search has given us 80,000 results and that's because this is a very broad search 80,000 is a huge competition it's a very big number so what we will do right now is we will pull down our chrome extension so here we have start reset and save and we will do a search from here and we will look for only a maximum of 50 books so we will go and hit search And here you can see the number of pages and the number of products and we will just stop it at 30 or 40 or something like that so now we can just go ahead and stop the search so now we will go and check for these books here and we will try to find keywords and we will also find niches so the first book here is a space coloring and activity book for kids and then the next one is a unicorn book so we'll go ahead and open the first one and see what it is and so here it shows this is a bestseller book and then it is a space coloring and activity book for kids for ages 4 to 8 and then 
there are all this bunch of different uh, words in the description and I'll show you exactly how to get your keywords and niche from here so we will take these first two words space coloring this is this can be used for both your niche and also your keyword and what we will do is we will create a kind of like an excel sheet and we will start putting all our keywords niches and rank numbers and everything on there creating something like this can be very helpful for you it can come in good use later once you do more research everything will be in one place and it will be faster for you to do more research later you can even simply put all this down in a word file or a notepad or wherever you think is okay as long as you have all this saved so here for the keywords you are keeping the space coloring or space coloring book and then coming back to the search again here we have this book the unicorn mermaid and princess book so we are going to check this one out this one looks like it has a lot of good keywords I'm just taking the keywords from here but you can properly open the page and check all the keywords so I saw there is unicorn so there is unicorn and then there is princess and this princess can be also used as a sub niche but uh, it's a good keyword and so then basically we are going to use these words as our niche and our keywords for our research now we are going to use the keyword that we had the unicorn coloring book and we are going to do a search with that so once you search that and you hit space this is what happens all these different recommendations from amazon comes up and you want to make sure that you take each of them and put them in your excel sheet and you research on each of them separately this is very very important doing this might take a while it might take a few days but uh, this is the best way to do your research because otherwise if you do a broad research the competition is very very high so instead of just the unicorn coloring book we are doing unicorn coloring book for kids ages 4 to 8 and now you can see the results are showing that it's 2000 so our activity book results were 80,000 and 60,000 and now you can see it has come down to 2000 so when you do research like this you'll find much lower competition books and niches and sub niches and you want to make sure that you are selecting something which is below 1000 so once you've found out the ranking the numbers you want to put them down here so i'll write here 2000 so that i remember this for the next time and then i move on to the next we will go back and start with our first keyword that we found so what you do is type space coloring book put a space and you want to make sure that you take all of this down and put them in your excel sheet so now for the space coloring we have 40,000 results so now we will pull down our kdp spy and do a search from here the keyword is already there because we were already looking for it over here and then we are just going to do a search so now you can take these keywords and search with them and you can keep doing this over and over and see what new keywords and search comes up and you want to make sure you put everything in your excel sheet if this video was helpful or added any value please give us a big thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't already let me know in comments below if you have any questions i'll try my best to answer most of them and i'll see you in the next one